As Brazil reaches an unenviable milestone, the second most infections worldwide, officials say the peak is still to come. Many Brazilians are blaming their president, who has repeatedly dismissed the disease. Tim Avia has more. Grim preparations for an impending disaster. Row upon row of graves, all for coronavirus victims in the country's biggest city, not far from where Australian Mitchell Webber and his wife Helen and daughter Lily live. That's pretty scary in regards to how close it is. As quickly as they're dug, the new graves are being filled. 1,000 people dying every day as the virus sweeps through the infamous favelas where the poor live in cramped conditions. South America has become a new epicentre for the disease. There's a concern <clears throat> across many of those countries, but certainly the most affected is uh, Brazil at this point. 21,000 are confirmed dead, although the real number could be much higher. With the peak predicted to still be weeks away, the health system is overwhelmed and ICUs filled to capacity. In this hospital ward, one nurse has already died. It's the worst thing we have ever faced in our professional lives. The country's slow response is being largely blamed on President Jair Bolsonaro, nicknamed the Trump of the tropics. Dismissing the virus as a little flu, since its outbreak, He's not only flouted social distancing advice, but attended anti-lockdown rallies and declared he wants to arm the people to avoid a dictatorship of pro-quarantine mayors. The country's top infectious disease expert has also been forced to quit in protest before the health minister was fired. The replacement health minister also resigned after refusing to promote the use of anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine touted by President Trump. Brazil is trying to play catch up and it's doing a very poor job, especially having a president like this. Mitchell and Helen are English teachers. They've been isolating in their one-bedroom apartment. Have you given any thought to getting out of the country? Yes, it's um, one thing that's definitely been on our minds. Um, we're prepared to go. But escaping isn't an option for the most vulnerable. The disease is already spreading rapidly through traditional tribes in the Amazon. Eu temo um genocídio. This could become genocide, the local mayor has warned, if the government doesn't do more to protect the native indigenous population. He says what's happening there is already a crime against humanity. Tim Avia, Nine News.